एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू विद न्यूज एप सीरीज इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड प्री रिक्वेस्ट एंड एक्सेमल डिजाइन सो इफ यू हैव नॉट येट वॉच डेट आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू टू वॉच दैट फर्स्ट एंड देन हॉप ऑन टू दिस वीडियो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर मोस्टली रेट्रो फिट पार्ट लाइक कनेक्टिंग ए पी आई विद अर ऐप एंड कन्वर्टिंग जेसन डेटा एंड ऑल ओके बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद दैट लेट मी गिव यू क्विक रिकेप ऑफ अर प्रीवियस वीडियो So in our previous video we have added all the dependencies and plugins in Gradle. Then we have designed all the XML layouts, bottom navigation menu and nav graph. Then we have added permissions in manifest and also icons in the drawable folder. Then colors, themes and segregating all the packages. and then last but not the least we also downloaded a api key from the news api website and that's it you can find all the prerequisite source code in the description box all right now let's begin with the logic part so first open the news api website make sure that you are already logged in then go to documentation now see we have two options either to display all types of news or to display only the top level news i want to display only top headlines which are popular hence go to top headlines here see it says this and point provides live top and breaking headlines for a country or category now listen to me carefully this is very easy okay see we send request to api via url and in response it send us the result simple this is a request and this is a result and also this is a json data let's quickly do a revision of json syntax this is what it looks like we have square brackets and that is array and inside it curly braces that is our object each object has key and a value separated by colon and then each object is separated by a comma easy right now In this response you can see there are objects in it like status article source author title description and all so let's have a look at each response object definition so first one is status it checks if the request is successful or not okay means all good and if any error occurs then it will show a code like maybe 404 which denotes web page not found then we have total results which means the number of results available for the request then we have articles which means the news itself then inside articles array we have other objects such as source author title and all out of which source has two values in it id and name of the source source means from which newspaper that news came from got it then we have author title description ur url to image published at content all of these terms you already know but there are few terms you need to know like description is like a summarized news and content is the entire news then publish at is the date and time of the article when it was published and url to image is basically the image converted in a url format and that's it now we need json data right but this json data can be read by compiler so we need to convert it to data class So what we will do is open Android Studio, go to Files, then Settings, and then Plugins. Here, install a plugin known as JSON to Kotlin class. This plugin will make our work ten times easier. I'll tell you how. So traditionally, we used to create response data class on our own. That is too much of work. But now, all we need to do is to go to News API website. here copy this url of top headlines make sure to exclude get and then paste it this is what the actual json data is i know it's not formatted but that's okay because our plugin will do everything for us so all you have to do is press control plus a and control plus c to copy the entire json data and now come to android studio here right click then new and then kotlin class from json click on it here paste the entire json data which we copied before see it's not formatted so click on this format button and look everything is formatted 
So now this plugin will take this response and automatically going to generate three classes for us. Why three? Because see here, first class will be for this three objects, article, status and total results. Then second class will be for objects that is present in articles. And then third class will be for the objects that is present in source. Got it? Now all of this is response only. So I'll name it as news response. And then I click on generate. And see we have our three classes ready. Also all three of them will come under models package. Because obviously that is our data right? Not database. I said data. And data is nothing but model itself. This is news response data class in which we have articles, status and total results. Here make sure to change the list to mutable list. Mutable means flexible or the values that can be changed later. Then click on article. So you will be redirected to our second class that is article data class. In which we have other attributes like author, content, description and many more. Then source also has values in it. So click on it and you will be redirected to our third class that is source data class. In which we have ID and name. And that's it. See the JSON data code which we copy pasted in plugin that only retrieves the object from the entire JSON data. Not the data itself. Like I know as a beginner you might have confusion that we are retrieving the entire data but no we are not. Instead, the data is live and real time that is directly provided from the requested URL which we will be going to use. Got it? Next, as article is a data class, so we need to attach it with its respective fragment in navigation graph. So go to news nav graph. Here in article fragment, we will create an argument tag. And inside it, name as article. And argument type as article data class copy the reference path and paste it and that's it also you will face error in name but that's not your fault instead it's just a bug in android studio giraffe version so don't worry it won't affect your code next we need to create few constant values that will never going to change so for that create a class under util Name it as constants. Now inside it, we will create companion object. Companion object is basically a part of the class. So whatever we write in it, that can be accessed anywhere in the class. It's a good practice because there will be few terms that we need to keep using. So we can't write it every time. Instead, just mention it over here and later you can access it anywhere in the code. For example, API key. We will require API key for the URL, right? Hence, we will create a constant value of it as API key and copy paste the API key as it is. Then next is the base URL. Base URL means the website URL of API, not the API URL, okay? So in our case, it is news API. Hence, simply copy paste the news API URL here and done. Then third is search news time delay. As 500 long. Which means in a search operation there will be a delay of 500 milliseconds between consecutive search request. Then next is query page size. As 20. Which means the number of articles that will be fetched on a single page. And that's it. These are the four constants that we will access whenever required. Okay. Next is very important. News API. So inside API package create an interface. Name it as News API. And done. So we have already created our response and now it's time to create our request that is our URL. So in API we need to fetch two kind of data. 
First is the top headlines that will be displayed in headlines fragment. And second is everything, means common news for search purpose, okay? Now, to fetch something, we will use get annotation. And inside it, from where to fetch, basically the endpoint of the URL. So, in our case, the endpoint is v2 slash top headlines. So, copy paste it. Then, we will create a suspend function named as get headlines. And inside it, we need to customize our URL, like from which country we need the news from or maybe from which particular source we need the news from. Got it? See, these are all the customization or in technical language request parameters you can do with the URL. Look over here. Here is the base URL. This is the endpoint. And then from here, after question mark, the customization starts. So we have different request parameters such as API key, which is mandatory. Then we have country customization. These are all the country codes available. Like if I want the news only from India, then I'll use IN. And if I want the news only from USA, then I'll use US code. But it, there is a list of country code available on the internet, so you can find it accordingly. Then we have categories such as business, entertainment, health and all. Like, have a look at this one. We have top headlines from the country DE, that is code for Germany. And category as business and then API key. All this customization is separated using AND operator. Then next we have sources, means from which particular newspaper you want news from. But you can't mix country or category with source while customizing the URL, got it? Then Q is for the keywords. Like for example, if I write in my URL as Q is equal to stocks, then all the news related to stocks will be displayed. And this Q will be required when we'll create a function for search. The next is page size, which is the number of results per page that we have already set to 20 as default. Then page is used to go through different pages from the results, only if the page size is greater than its results. Now using all of these parameters, we will create a customized URL of our own, in which we will have an API key, obviously, then we will have country as US, and then page, very simple URL, how will we create it? See, as we are customizing the URL, so we will be use query annotation here. So I'll write query as country. Then create a parameter as country code. And keep the default value as US. Next, I'll create a query for page. And then create a parameter as page number. And keep the default value as 1. Which means by default page number 1 will be called. Got it? Then next, I'll create another query as API key. And then create an API key parameter. And here mention the default API key value which we created as a constant. And that's it. Lastly, after taking the request, it will return as a response. That is a news response. This response class is used to handle HTTP responses. Similarly, we'll create a customized URL for search as well. But in this case, the fetching of data should not be limited to top headlines. Instead, it should be everything. Okay? Then, create a suspend function for search. And inside it, query is Q that represents the keyword. And then search query as a parameter. Next, query is page. Whose parameter will be page number as 1.
and then obviously an API key that is our constant value of API key. And that's it. Again, in return, it will give us a response as news response. And our news API is also ready. Now, last but not the least is to set up retrofit. This is easy because it's all syntax only. So under API only, create a new class as retrofit instance. And done. then inside it, a companion object means whatever we write inside it, it will remain static or fixed values. In our case, it is used to create a singleton instance of retrofit. Now, what is singleton? Singleton is a class that is limited to instantiation to a single instance only. Means, in simple words, it can be only instantiated once. Then let me write the code first and then I'll explain you. And done. Now see, what is by lazy? By lazy create a lazily initialized retrofit instance means that the instance will only be created when it's first exist and then subsequent access will reuse the existing instance. Got it? Then inside it, a HTTP logging interceptor is configured to log HTTP request and response details. Then an OK HTTP client is created with this interceptor. Then finally, a retrofit builder is used to configure the base URL, then JSON factory conversion, then set the OK HTTP client, and lastly, build the retrofit instance. Next, I have created another lazy property named as API, which creates an implementation of the news API interface using retrofit instance. And that's it. Our retrofit part is also done. Now in next video, we will cover database part. So stay tuned for that. Okay. So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.